Hi everyone, my name is Tanya Ahmed and today we're going to be making some Christmas earrings using sanded shrink film by Graphics. Graphics sanded film is an interesting substrate which is, has a slightly textured surface which you can apply a variety of mediums and today we're going to be using pastels on them. So on the rough side of the shrink film I am tracing an outline of a four petaled flower and I need two flower shapes and I have drawn out three holly leaves and I am going to cut them out and being careful to cut them right flush to the edges and making sure that there aren't any cracks in the film. So once I've cut them down to get rid of the pencil lines, I'm just using an eraser and I am laying the film down flat and on the rough side, I am applying pastels with a sponge and I used red for the flower shapes and a dark green for the holly leaves. And once that's done, I am going to punch holes towards the top ends of the leaves and holes in the middle of the flowers before I heat set them. And once my heat tool is nice and warmed up, I am using it to shrink the craft film, the shrink film. And this is a process that never really gets boring. It's always magical to watch it shrink down into almost half its size. So while the shrink film is still hot, I am taking these flower shapes and shaping it into a 3D ball shape to form my berries for my holly and berry Christmas earrings. Um, do be careful, this is quite warm. If you like, you can wear some heat resistant gloves to form the berries. So you'll need two of those berries and then the three leaves I am shrinking down as well. And I'm going to leave those flat because we're going to be applying some embellishments over it. So once all of my embellishments are ready, I am going to add my, uh, my wire to the berries. And I've added the looped end inside so that it catches inside of the hole and then I'm going to bend the wire at 90 degrees so that it lays flat against the top of the berry and I'm using a round nose plier and I'm going to twist it around so that it forms a loop so and then I'm going to snip off the axis and, and then I'm going to use the round nose plier to close the loop and just going to slightly adjust it so that it lies straight against the berries. Um, we're going to add jump rings to the, uh, the leaves but before we do that I am sealing the pastels in with some glitter nail varnish. You can use resin and cure that as well uh, but I'm using whatever I had on hand which is glitter nail varnish. You can add um, glitter and a glue mixture as well and I've also added the nail varnish to the berries and once the leaves were dry I added them to the other side as well and now I'm going to add the jump rings to the holly leaves so the trick to opening jump rings is not to prise them open but sort of twist them open sideways and then twist them back in place so that they lay nice and flush against each other and aren't likely to open up. And to finish off the edges of the shrink uh, film uh, embellishments, I'm adding some permanent metallic marker in silver to both the berries and the leaves. Um, to add some extra bling to make it more Christmassy, I am adding some more nail varnish just to the tips and dipping the tips of the leaves into my glitter and when it's thoroughly dry I layer it up again with the clear nail, nail varnish to seal the glitter in and I'm using an earring finding 
and adding the finished embellishments on to the hoop um, alternating between the embellishments so that there are three leaves and two berries in between each of the leaves and there you have it here is the finished set of earrings and I really hope you enjoyed this video tutorial thank you so much for watching if you have any more questions please visit the graphics arts website thank you and have a great day thanks bye